Hey guys, welcome to the first plus battle, the boss rush, Yuffie Rising. I'll be honest, I am gonna be fucking all out in this battle. No, well, not really many protection skills. Maybe I'll get one in the Roaming Warrior things. First we got Arc Dragon, Red Dragon, and another dragon. All dragons. Okay. So, Aerith got her new staff. I put Yuffie with the FF8 Bracer. I think it will be pretty good to just have a small AoE heal just as a backup. I know I could have Aerith with the Musk stuff, but I want to try it out and see how it goes with the Val4 Summon. Be freaking awesome. And we got Red 13 with Mako Might as well, so at least it's a backup. I could go freaking really all out and bring Blade Beam. First one. I believe it's only one. Yeah, only one of them that you actually need AoE for, but I think it was pretty useful. Uh, should I bring Lucky? I know Lucky kind of hates me now. Uh, because, <laughs> yeah, I tried to sap Odin when he wasn't susceptible to sap. Uh, I'll just be really, really protective and just bring Amanda, I think. Yeah, I'll bring Amanda. I'll cast one stone skin in the second one and the other in the third one. There's a lot of AoE attacks that these monsters do, that's for sure. Okay, why is this one like frozen? No, oh. wait, he's not doing anything. Oh, first round. So this Arc Dragon has 47,000 HP, mainly uh, because there's two of them. Debuff on abilities, all of them except Paralyze, Petrified, Doom, and KO. His attacks are Attack, Claw, and Flamethrower, which deals heavy fire damage to all targets. Okay, that's alright, I guess. Should we waste a Lunatic? I don't think we should. We'll just heal up. Uh-oh. How -oh. does this do? Okay, not too bad. This is the match to get all our soul breaks up, really. Uh, I guess we'll just attack. Because these guys have relatively low HP. So we should be able to kill him pretty easily. I'm just a little bit worried about my damage taken. But I think it wouldn't be too worrying. What the hell am I on? Oh, I'm on fire. Shit. Yeah, we'll use Valfour. Oh, technically there is two, um, two bosses which you require AoE. The last one as well because of the two heads. I can steal HP again. That's what I love about steel HP. Look at this. Damn, that's awesome. I'm liking that. There's no guarantee you'll get ethers, by the way. That's what I've heard. Perfect. See, this is going pretty well. Unless they both attack Yuffie and I just suddenly die. Which, which can happen. Which is a pretty big possibility happening. Which I'm not going to mention anymore. Okay, we have to kill this guy. Oh shit. It's going to happen, isn't it? We have to cure our guy. <laughs> I'm not taking no chances. Do not. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Be right back, guys. <laughs> oh, so embarrassing. All right. As always, I think I was being too cocky there. I I think I should do lunatic eye at least, so we have some sort of mitigation to their attacks. Uh, yeah. I'll just get Eris turn for now. Start moon blades blitz. Yeah, we'll tempo flurry because we can slow them down. We should have tempo flurry actually. Tempo flurry both of them just so we have some debuff on them. So yeah, it'll be good. Guess le get less damage, that's for sure. Oh, you can actually silence them. I wonder if it will silence the flamethrower, probably not. Okay, now that we got no, okay. Now that we got protect on. I think it'll be a little bit more better. Yeah, let's just keep using AoEs. Waste them all. Just in case we do get an Aether. Which has a chance of happening. Man, that just looks so freaking awesome. That's why I love bringing it. Just because of the awesome look. Still no um, slow, which is really disappointing. I'm loving that stuff. 
Without the stuff, I don't know if I'll do 9,999, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's still HP. I think it's a pretty good time to. We'll just attack with Titus. Kiraga. wonder if that will... Oh, looks like the last one's going to die pretty easily. Still HP, yes! Perfect! That was a pretty perfect battle. Forget about the last one. I don't remember it anymore. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was freaking horrible. Oh, we got an Aether as well. Perfect. Okay, next one is Red Dragon. 108,000 HP. Oh, we got all medals too. Surprising. Debuff on abilities to Poison, Paralyze, Slow, Blind, and Sap. Paralyze will be pretty good in these situations, but like I said, I don't like honing Paralyze Strike. It uses a fair bit of orbs. Uh, probably will in the future, but not just yet because I'm too busy honing other skills like Life Siphon. I haven't honed one of the Life Siphons to R4, which I really, really need to first. I believe... Sephiroth is holding the R3 one, and Titus is holding the R4. Why did I bring Titus? Because of his Soul Break, pretty much. I really want to use Titus more, to be honest. I know Cloud will probably be a better choice, but I really, really want to use Titus. I want to show off his uh, Soul Break, so... Yeah, we'll just heal up first. We'll wait till the last fight to actually do our Soul Breaks and stuff, I think. Yeah, let's magic break down. So his attacks are Red Dragon Breath, which deals very heavy damage, very very heavy fire damage to one target and attack. So it's only to one target at least. We'll keep using Life Siphon, get as much soul breaks as we can. If you don't know, Life Siphon increases your soul break um, gorge gauge by, I don't know, but by more than just a normal attack, and combine that with a strike and stuff is just fucking good. It's pretty much the meta in Japan at the moment. Everyone's been trying to use it with at least two characters. Unless you're like a mage or something. So. That's still pretty damn good. See, look at my soul proof. <laughs> it's already like half. How fucking good is that? Uh... We just, yeah, we'll magic break down. The flurry. Went way fast just then with one life siphon. We'll see how, how it is now with Titus. If he's not dead, that is. Which he probably will be dead. The red dragon, not me. Okay. Uh, I want to see Titus. Whoa, it's a half. It's one whole half. That's awesome. Okay, it looks like he's still alive, so I'll just do one more life siphon with Sephiroth. Oh yeah. That was awesome! <laughs> I love life siphon. <laughs> uh, last one is against Schizo. Debuff on ability to blind, which shouldn't really care about because all he does is magic attacks. So it's kind of like a little bit of a trick. The right head absorbs fire, the left one absorbs ice. You can see by the heads themselves, one of them is red and one of them is kind of greenish blue. An aqua-ish colour. Oh, or not. Looks like a, it's a white colour. But it kind of blends in. So the left head. If both heads are alive, deals... Does ice, breath, tremor... And Dragon Fang when it dies. And when the right head's down, then the... What does it say? Include both head... Okay. So they do kind of both abilities. What the hell? Oh, shit. <laughs> Keep forgetting that. Okay. We have to concentrate a little bit. So the right head does... The only difference is Ice, Breath, and... Ice, Breath, and Fire, Breath. I said breast. <laughs> Not to be confused with breast. Fire breast can do pretty bad damage to you men out there. Okay. Cone of cold. Oh, is that ice breath? Cone of cold. Okay. 
Did I say breast again? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what happens when I do videos straight in the early morning. Okay, we'll just do blade splits. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll use... Oh shit, I'm scared. Why do they... Oh, they must have um, updated abilities then. Because it's not in... Um... It's not in Buck Power, these abilities that they're doing. So I'm guessing it's an updated ability list. Yeah, we can use Shadow Flare pretty easily here. Whoa! That was a lot! So the Steel HP is dependent on how much damage you do. Well, the Drain ability here, anyway. Yeah, let's use Slice and Dice. I know you guys have been waiting for it. Wait, crap. What I'm scared about is Dragon Fang dealing fuckload of damage to me, which is possible. Uh, what should I do? Well, he's dead. <laughs> so he's gonna use Dragon Fang. I will cure. I wonder how much this is gonna do. First aid. I wanna see how much this does. I'm gonna wait for Titus to finish him off. I'll full break first, of course. A little bit scared. Let's see how much how much this cures me up. Probably nothing. Okay, that's decent. 600. That's okay. A lot more than I thought it would be. Kind of cold flame. That's okay. I know you guys are waiting for another slice and dice. I like slice and dice. It looks fucking awesome too. I love it. Look at that. You pew. You pew. You pew. Okay, Dragon Fang shouldn't kill me. Shouldn't kill me. Yeah. And that's it. Not too bad. A little bit of a hiccup in the first fight, but still, not too bad. Yeah, a little bit of updated skills. Looks like he can do Quaker now. Quaker. Hmm. Well, be a little bit careful about that one. Of the AoE. What do we get? Greater Black Orb. Thank God the Orb Exchange thing is up now. That's great. I love it. Major Growth Eggs, which we don't necessarily need at the moment. But you see, we can get to 65. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it around. Of course, sharing around really, really does help the channel. And I'll see you in Materia Keeper.